Note itself, note above, note itself, note below, note itself. Da, 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 da. But that second note, like the Christ note, is not really a note. Okay. It's just an interruption of a note. And similarly, the one underneath isn't really a note. It's Ooh. just an interruption of a note. So instead of playing B, C, B, A, B, I play one big long B and it's interrupted from above and then it's un interrupted from beneath, but it's just a B. Hmm. So I'm not trying to play a C or an A as well as these three Bs. I'm just playing one long B. So I play the B and I tap the string with whatever finger I want, it, either the second or the third. <laughs> if, the, if the note is on the first finger, then sometimes you'd play the role with the second or with the third. It doesn't really matter. And I would practice that. If we're doing it on the second note, uh, second finger, I would use the third. So I'd practice that for a bit, just like I did there. I, now that phrase is A, F sharp, and then an F sharp with a roll on it. It often happens that whatever note you want to put a roll on, the note just before it is the same note. So if it's a D, it's preceded by a D. If the roll is on an E, it's often preceded by an E. Mm. So in this case, it's an F sharp, and the note before it is an F sharp. Now I mention that because the first F sharp has nothing to do with the roll. And it, it might not, the, the note before the roll might not be the same, but it often is. In practice, it often is. Don't let it confuse you. So you play the F sharp that's got nothing to do with the roll, and then you play the F sharp that you're trying to put a roll onto. Mm -hmm. And the easiest way to keep them separate from each other so they don't blur the edge is to detach them with the bow. Mm -hmm. So it's, I would play... Then I'd put my little grace note on. But I have to make sure I start that second F sharp as an F sharp. So I play, I play the F sharp and then I hit the string. Mm. I don't put the F, I don't put the grace note in between the two Fs, which then brings the first F into the roll. That confuses the timing. So get rid of the first F, start the second F, with the bow and immediately tap it then, after the bow starts moving. As opposed to, okay? So then you do the same thing only with the, the interruption from beneath, which just means you lift your finger up. Now, I'm playing an F sharp, the note below would be an F or an E. I'm not concerned with that. I just want to put a dent in the F sharp, so I go. Sometimes it doesn't even get off the string. And then I put it back down. So I hit it above, then I hit it again beneath, then put the two together. Now a good way to practice it is to play Four notes in the count of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And pick one and 
say, right, I'm going to put a roll on the second finger this time. Okay. And then take it back out again. Back in. Just see, is the timing consistent? Mm -hmm.